Hi, I'm Andy and welcome to my channel about crypto. In this video, I will show you how to set up Binance Smart Chain on uh, your MetaMask and also how to purchase B BIP20 tokens or Binance Smart Chain tokens uh, using PancakeSwap and how to connect your MetaMask to, to PancakeSwap exchange. So let's jump into it. When you look at tokens on CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap, you will find that actually some of them well, a lot of them are on Ethereum blockchain. They are ERC20 tokens. Let's say if you pick something like Uniswap, you can see that it has Ethereum symbol here, Ethereum contract address. And in fact, here you can see that you can see it on Etherscan. So that token was built using Ethereum. It's, uh, and to purchase it, you would use Ether or any other or you would exchange other ERC20 token. However, there are other tokens like, for example, Altura or CDFI, which are actually Binance Smart Chain tokens. If you hover on this icon, you can see that it says BSC. And this icon, if we jump here, is, is the icon of the Binance coin, Binance Smart Chain. So you can also see here that use different explorer to see the transactions BSC scan and it actually even says here that it's Binance Smart Chain ecosystem. Basically there are multiple different blockchains and they don't work with each other. You cannot transfer funds from ERC, uh, sorry, from Ethereum to, to Binance Smart Chain or to Bitcoin because basically different smart chains don't really talk to each other. You can bridge tokens and I'll show that in one of the next videos uh, for example how to bridge Ethereum from ERC20 to, to Binance Smart Chain but in this video we'll focus on something different and that's basically how to set up your MetaMask to work with Binance Smart Chain or how to add Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask and then how to purchase token on Binance move that token to your MetaMask and then connect your MetaMask to PancakeSwap, which is Binance Smart Chain uh, Exchange or the centralized exchange and purchase tokens such as CDFI or Altura using PancakeSwap. So first of all, you need MetaMask. MetaMask is a browser extension. It's a software wallet. If you don't have one already, you can go to metamask.io and download it and set it up. You can if you're not sure how to do it, you can watch one of my previous videos. I will put a link to it in the description to this video. And in that video, essentially, I go through all the steps of downloading and setting up MetaMask and transferring tokens to MetaMask. Assuming that you have MetaMask already, well, essentially, you have to connect MetaMask to Binance Smart Chain. The easiest way to do it is by following this article on Binance Academy website. Again, I'll post the link in in the description, but in that article, you have quite a lot of information about configuring the wallet and so on. But the important thing here is that part, basically from this point onwards, configuring the wallet, where they explain exactly how to add Binance Smart Chain. You have to go to settings, then on settings page, you go to networks and you have to add a new network. And this, is the important part of this article. It's how to add Binance Smart Chain mainnet to MetaMask. So these are the informations you have to add to make sure that the network is correctly set up. Testnet, as the name implies, is just used for testing. So this is the bit that's important, the mainnet setup. And then you have some other information here in this article. So if you went through those steps, so you set up MetaMask, you added Binance Smart Chain, you log in to your MetaMask. You can see that I'm connected to the Smart Chain. From this drop down menu, you can pick different network. So I can go back to Ethereum mainnet, and now you can see that I can see my ETH balance on this account rather than uh, B BSC or rather than BSC tokens. So basically, don't worry that you don't see your Ethereum tokens if you're on a Binance Smart Chain. You run, 
not able to see them because they're on a different network. It doesn't mean that they're lost or anything went wrong. You just simply have to switch the networks using this drop down menu here at the top. So you pick smart chain. As long as you want to interact with Binance smart chain protocols, you have to make sure that you are on, on the smart chain network on, in your MetaMask. So you go to Binance, buy Krypton. I'll just buy some via debit card and I'll just get a little bit of BNB. Let's say I will buy 0.2 BNB just for the purpose of this tutorial. Continue. I have to go through all the verification. So I'll skip that bit. Okay, now we can see here that the purchase is complete. That BNB was now added to, is now added to my wallet. So if I go to the wallet, I need to transfer it now to my MetaMask. The process is exactly the same as transferring ERC20 tokens to, uh, to MetaMask. Uh, basically, all I need to do is find the token I want to transfer, go to withdraw, I have to enter the address, so I go to my MetaMask, copy my address, I'll paste it here. It actually picked it up that it's Binance Smart Chain, BIP 20 tokens. I want to send the maximum amount. As you can see here, one of the main benefits of using Binance Smart Chain is that the network fees are very, very low. It's 0 0.0005 BNB which is cents or pennies or whatever currency you're using it's much much cheaper than doing the same thing on ethereum blockchain so I'll quick click withdraw i get a warning that very few platforms actually support bsc and whether i actually want to do it yes i know that I've put the correct details in so i confirm that right so I will now go to my MetaMask. As you can see here, that 0.2 BNB was added to my account. So what I will do now is I will use, I will connect my MetaMask to PancakeSwap so I can actually purchase some tokens on PancakeSwap. So I go to pancakeswap.finance. Again, I'll put the link in, in the description, connect wallet. Select MetaMask. As you can see here, it connected to my MetaMask. I can see my address. And basically I just click click on trade now and I'm now in the in the exchange part of, of PancakeSwap. Okay, so now I'm connected to PancakeSwap. The best way to swap tokens is to select the token, of course, that you want to swap, and then to find the one. Uh, you want to swap to or you want to purchase and to do that you can go to CoinGecko look up the contract address click to copy then essentially making sure no. and to do that you go to CoinGecko uh, you find the contract you you find the token you're interested in you find the contract ad address click to copy you then are absolutely sure that you're actually getting the, the token you want uh, so I'll go to exchange, pancake swap, select, and then you just paste that contract. And by by doing this, essentially you make sure that this is definitely the token you're, you're after. What I will do in this case, however, is it's a little bit boring. I actually want to exchange my BNB for stablecoin for uh, BUSD. So I'll just find that there you go and i'll change 0.2 bnb to busd i can see my the amount i will receive price impact liquidity provider fee as you can see those fees are very very low um, i then hit swap once again i get confirmation of the exchange rate and so on I just make sure that I'm happy with everything, confirm swap. 
and just like it would be with ERC20 tokens, it now opens MetaMask, and I can see here um, gas fee and so on. What's great about it, as I mentioned earlier, Binance Smart Chain has far, far lower fees than Ethereum. So just click confirm. I add BUSD to MetaMask. I actually don't have that particular stablecoin in, in my MetaMask. So, so to do it, close that. And that should be transaction completed now. So if I go back to my MetaMask assets, I can see BUSD here and yeah, the transaction was completed. And that's basically it. So you would follow exactly the same procedure for for any other token you want to you want to purchase on Pancake. So basically you connect your MetaMask to PancakeSwap, find the token on CoinGecko, copy the contract address, paste that address here in select token window, and then just select the amount you want to exchange and, and exchange it. And that's it. It's really straightforward. The fees are far, far lower than on Ethereum blockchain. Uh, the only thing you have to, of course, remember afterwards, make sure that you disconnect your MetaMask, make sure you log out from your MetaMask so, so your account is secure. So I go back to MetaMask to log out. I just click on this icon and click lock. If you're done planning to interact with Ethereum Smart Chain, don't forget to later change that to Ethereum Mainnet. And don't worry if, that you don't, that you cannot see your ethereum tokens here uh, that's that's absolutely normal that's fine so i'll just lock my metamask and that's it so this is how you purchase tokens on on binance smart chain so you have to make sure that you have binance smart chain added to your metamask you have to then purchase tokens that you want to exchange um, so you have something in your MetaMask, most, like, most likely you would do it on Binance Exchange and you would get something like BNB or, or a similar token. It's exactly the same way as you would do with Ethereum on Uniswap. Uh, if you've done it before, basically you need something to exchange it for, for other, other tokens. Very often you cannot just simply purchase, say, Altura with with a stable coin or with with fiat you have to first buy another token and then exchange that one to To the token you actually want to buy and that's it. Then you just go to pancake swap connect Select correct tokens exchange and you're done. I Hope you find this video useful if something is not entirely clear or you have any more questions or suggestions Please do let me know in the comment section otherwise if you find this content helpful please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.